Oh, wow, cupcake. Don't mind if I do. They're looking, looking nice and tasty. Who's there? You should not have done that, fool. I should not have done... what? Everyone knows you cannot take something that is not your own. For violating this rule, you shall be punished. I'll, I'll, I'll put it back. I'll, I'll put it back. Of course, like all punishments, the punishment should reflect the crime. You take something from someone else, I will take something from you. How about one measly soul for one cupcake? I'll make you a deal, kid. I'll let you keep your soul and continue on with life. If you can explain what this item is. If you can prove to me the purpose and worth of this item within one day's time, you can roam free. So, what do you say, kid? Do we have a deal? I suppose I have no other choice. I must make a deal with the devil. What are these things? Well, I suppose I, I better look into these and find out what these exactly are. So I'll go do some research. Earbuds, a necessity in today's online world. What are earbuds? Well, earbuds are just something that you put in your ear. They're something that you put in it instead of over it. The other ones are called Headphones, or the ear headphones. Technically, I guess they're called in-ear headphones, but whatever. Now in the news, most likely what you're going to hear is Apple AirPods. Apple AirPods, you got the regular ones, you got the AirPods Pro, but tons of companies make earbuds. If you look on Amazon and you scroll down, you type in earbuds, you are going to find literally thousands of results from different companies making different earbuds. Naturally, those who already make mobile tech, like phone companies, are introducing their own earbuds, wireless earbuds that can wirelessly connect to their phone. So we've got Apple making them, we've got OnePlus making them, we've got Google making them, and we have Samsung making them. That's what these are. The Samsung Galaxy Buds Live. Now for me, the thing that really struck me first is this color. This mystic blue color is great. It's dark enough that it's not super kitty, but it's not boring like a black color or whatever. The earbuds themselves are made out of the shiny plastic rather than a matte plastic or something like that. And then they just charge in this case. Now looking at the case, it's a pretty simple case. It's squared off. It's not really a rectangle. It's kind of a square with rounded edges. On the bottom here, you got wireless wireless charging. So, Qi wireless or QI wireless, whatever you want to call it, wireless charging. You open it on up, and then the this is where the Galaxy Buds live live. So, you've got your two earbuds here. You can just click them. They magnetically click in there. It's um, not quite as easy as just setting them in, but, I mean... It's not too much more difficult than that either. And then the green light just means that you know, they're both in there and they're charging. Close it on up, and then this is the battery life of the case. So right now it is showing a red light because I haven't charged these at all. One weird thing to note is that on my Galaxy Buds Live, there's this residue from the packaging. And I tried to get it off many ways. Um... I put it like in the sink with soap, I tried to wash it off, scratched it off with some things. Uh, I used, what is it called, Goop Off, which is a special spray that you can spray on stuff that usually gets off adhesives. And I haven't been able to get it off, so I don't know. This is probably just a me issue. 
But it's weird that it happened like this because it's not like something that can just easily come off. It's it's kind of odd. Like a lot of earbuds, these kind of seem like they just work magically. Wireless earbuds, that is. So, here they are, the two buds. So you might be wondering, how do I put these in my ear? And that's what I thought at first, too. How do these fit into your ear? And it's a unique design. So the design of these is they aren't technically in-ear with the little rubber tips that a lot of earbuds are, but it's also not really the open design that like an AirPods type of earbud would have. These are unique and I think that's what drew me to them. Personally myself, I am not a fan of those in-ear rubber ones. They just don't fit in my ears. I think my ears are small comparatively to others, especially the ear canal. So I just can't fit those rubber ones in there, even the extra small tips. And the uh, Apple earbuds really fit in my ear quite well. So I'm like, okay, well, I may as well try these Galaxy Buds because they're not, they don't go right into your ear. They're more of an open design. And I like to hear what's going on around me as well. So I'll show you how they go in. So each earbud has a little indicator on here. One that says left and another one that says right. So the left one obviously goes in the left ear, but how do you put it in your ear? Well, you kind of have to half put it in your ear canal. So you put it in and then there you go. So this little tip on the end holds it in place uh, near the, the upper part of your ear. I don't know what it's called. And then it goes down into your actual ear canal and part of it rests in there so it's not quite as open as some other earbuds. Same thing on this side, you put it in, and then it makes a little beep noise once it's actually in your ear, and then there you go. So for me, like it, it's a tight fit, and it really just depends on the person. With all earbuds and all headphones, it really just depends on the person, how your ears are shaped and all that. It's pretty tight in there for me. So wearing this for an extended period of time, it does get a little sore, but not like excruciatingly so. There are different actions that you can program onto the buds via the app, which I will show you here in a little bit. You just tap either this earbud or this earbud to do different functions. So I will show you how the app works and then I'll explain how it sounds. This is the Galaxy wearable app. Now, this app, there are some features, but not quite a ton like some other earbuds may have. So you download the Galaxy Wearables app and then you download the extension to it. So the Galaxy Buds Live here, as you can see, they are connected. And it gives you the battery percentage and then different little things. So you can turn on active noise cancellation, which these earbuds have. They work, uh, it works surprisingly well in some situations, in others you can't even tell that it's on. So it really just depends upon where you are. Personally, I don't like it that much because I like to have open earbuds. But some people may really uh, enjoy having these, like if you're on a, a bus or a train or something like that. So just turn those off. There's an equalizer, which, you know... And it's an equalizer. <laughs> you can change how the sound sounds. Normal. I just kept it normal because I think it sounds fairly neutral. Um, there's bass boost for if you really like those bass heavy songs. Soft, dynamic, clear, and treble boosts. But I think normal sounds the best. If you go into touch controls here, this is what I was talking about with the taps. So there's tap to, pl to um, play or pause a, um, a track. Double tap to get to the next song or to answer an end to call. Triple tap to play previous tap and then tap and hold. And you can adjust these different things. So tap and hold, what I have here is on the left, if I hold it down, it turns the volume down. If I hold it on the right, it turns the volume up. But you can change this to turn on active noise cancellation or to do a voice command so it lets you activate your assistant and you can do that kind of stuff. If you hate the touches, which I have had some problems with the touches when I get them in my ear, you can just turn them off if you just want to use them primarily as an earbud and not um, control them in any way. You can also let it read your notifications aloud, which it does exactly what it sounds like. 
advanced. There's one thing in advanced, and that's seamless earbud connection. I'm not sure why you would keep that off, to be completely honest with you. Maybe if you're having some issues with connection or anything like that. Labs, this is this um, is a section where they add little beta features. As of now, there's only one thing. Relief pressure with ambient sound. I tried this out. I couldn't really tell much of a difference, but maybe some people will, so you can try that out if you really want to. Find my earbuds. That's exactly what it sounds like. Again, you can find them. makes a little sound. General, again, there's one option in general, and that's reset. And then there's software update. You can install updates to your earbuds through the app here, and then they will keep that if you use it on other devices. That's really all there is to the app. It's not super complicated, but it gives you pretty much all you need. Getting them out of your ear can be difficult at times because like I said, they're tight, at least for me, a tight fit. And so without doing a bunch of tapping, you just kind of go in from the back and then pull it out, which is different than some earbuds, well, I guess similar to others, but and it, it gets kind of gross because of uh, earwax and all that stuff. I'm sure other ones do too, but because it's in your ear canal versus just on the outside, part of it is that part it gets kind of gross. So you kind of have to clean off that a little bit and then you can put it back in your case. Sound quality on these things is decent, but not quite as good as I would have thought. When active noise cancellation is off, which is when I use them most of the time, it doesn't sound much better than your $20 pair of Apple ear pods. It really doesn't. And I think this is more of an issue with like Bluetooth earbuds. Um, they're not sounding quite as good as the, the wired alternatives, but these just didn't quite sound all that great. I, I tried a variety of different songs. What I mostly listen to is so are soundtracks from video games and movies. So I don't really listen to a lot of bass heavy songs um, or a ton of songs with lyrics but um, from what I was hearing I kind of prefer just the sound new more neutral sound of like like I said the $20 Apple earbuds and these I think are better for convenience better for zoom calls and that kind of stuff where you put them in your ear and you just forget about them you can walk around talk or do whatever you're not constrained by a cable but I feel like spending, these things cost $160 if you don't buy them on sale. If you're spending $160, I would expect them to sound pretty great. And they really don't sound pretty great. They, like I said, they sound decent, they don't sound bad, but you kind of have to crank up the volume a little bit to get them to sound good. And then once it's at that point, it, it kind of hurts your ears a little bit. So I wasn't as impressed as I thought I would would be from the audio quality with these. Obviously, the ones with the rubber tips are going to sound a little better because there's not the, the noise or anything there. But again, like I've said, the other ones that I, I've tried that are open earbuds actually sound pretty good in most situations. But these just uh, sounded all right. Yeah. Tastes vary, so if you want to try these out, go ahead and just buy them. I mean, buy them within the return period. I know at least Best Buy and a lot of retailers now, you can buy products and then you have until January to return them because of the whole holiday return policy. So if you really want to try these buds or any earbuds or headphones out, I would try them. Everyone has different preferences for sound and it's important to try them out and see if you really enjoy them or if you don't enjoy them. With connectivity, I had no problems with connectivity. If I had Bluetooth on, on my phone, and I um, put the earbuds in my ears, they just connected automatically. I didn't have to go in the settings and adjust anything. I've had other things where it takes forever to connect. Like this speaker that I have over here, it takes a good minute to connect because it's connecting to something else. You gotta go over, tap a button, and then it starts loading. You gotta go to your phone settings to get it on. These, instant connection. No problems there. It's also worth noting that these have an IPX2 rating. So 
not great but it has like basic splash resistance so like right now I'm out and when it's raining out so they haven't died yet so these use AAC uh, Bluetooth codec they don't use uh, APTX or APTX HD or even LDAC so it's not quite high fidelity but it's much better than just standard Bluetooth so I've had no problems with uh, um, how it sounds really um, comparatively I think if it had APTX it wouldn't sound significantly better and to be honest with you I don't really have much else to say about these they're earbuds they're not as complicated as say a smartphone they, their primary purpose is to play music or to assist with um, calls or something like that, to listen to audio. And they work decently at that for the retail price of $160. I would not recommend these earbuds. If you can get them on sale, for Black Friday, or if you get them for around $100, then yeah, maybe. Again, it depends on the person. It really depends on the person if these are the type of headphones that you enjoy, or if these are not the type of headphones that you enjoy. I thought I would like these, honestly, much more than I do. They're not bad in really any major way, but they aren't impressive in any major way. When you can get AirPods for the same price, I would probably get AirPods, even if you have uh, an Android phone, at least for me. I, I, I better go find that forbidden one and uh, explain to him the value. These things aren't valued more than $100. They shouldn't be valued more than $100. Forbidden one! Mr. Forbidden one, please come over here. I will have a uh, nice conversation with you about this product and hopefully it'll be good enough to you know not take my soul or something like that i'm hoping you know you make some valid points there i'll let you live today but just remember if you happen to do anything like this again there will be harsher consequences than before I know where you live. I know your address. I know your room. Do you not think that you can hide from me any longer? I'll take back this item of yours. Thank you for doing the busy work. Well, I have to be heading off, but just remember, the forbidden one knows more than you think. <laughs> Gosh, thank goodness that is over. That was that was an experience to be sure, but thank goodness I got out of that alive. I do feel that we will meet again in the future. One day we will see each other again. When that day is, no one knows for sure. Thank you all so much for tuning into Tea Time. Hopefully this was a little more enjoyable. And go Oregon Ducks! Yeah!